Hi kids, it's Mrs. Tess Jardins, and I am back with another lesson for Al's Pals. This is lesson 14, calm down. What I do when I have big feelings. Now the purpose of this lesson is to develop positive ways to cope with escalating feelings. Now escalating, that's a big word. That means going higher and higher. Kind of like an escalator. You know how those go up, 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 up in the store? It's kind of what it means. It goes up, up, up. Feelings that go up, up, up. Including anger, excitement, and joy. Joy is really feeling happy. So we'll practice in using a calm down method. So we have talked about a lot of different feelings, right? happy, sad, and angry. Today we're going to talk about some more things we can do when we have big feelings, when we are very excited, very happy, or very angry. There are some steps we can take to calm down and handle our feelings. Let me tell you a story about some strong feelings I had and what I did. Once when I was a child, a clown was coming to the class with a big bag which had surprises for all the children. I was so excited. I started to talk fast and loud and my voice got high when I talked about the clown coming. I couldn't sit. I started bouncing on my tiptoes. I felt myself getting more and more excited. My voice was high, my breathing was short and jerky. Then I noticed what was happening and I thought, I need to calm myself down and get control of myself. I know that excited feeling and I don't calm, if I don't calm myself down, sometimes I get out of control and hurt myself or someone else by accident. Do you know how I got myself to calm down that day? I used the calm down steps my teacher had taught me. Not everybody knows these calm down steps. But I'm sure glad I do. They have helped me a lot. Would you like to learn them? Okay, stand up. Listen carefully. When you feel yourself getting too excited or too mad, too silly, this is what you can do. First, we will take three deep breaths. So we're going to stand up. I'll stand up too. Stand up. Take three really deep breaths, really deep from your nose right down to your toes. So stand up, take a slow, deep breath. Breathe in through your nose. Blow out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Blow out through your mouth. One more. Breathe in through your nose. Blow out through your mouth. So you breathe slowly from the bottom of your toes. Okay, next, count to five very slowly. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. So you take three deep breaths. One, blow out. One, two, three, four, five. Now breathe in through your nose. Blow out. If you still need to calm down, if you've taken three deep breaths and count it to five, count to six. If more time is needed, you can count higher. Go to seven. Next, we will whisper ourselves. Let's practice that. Now practice all three together. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Count. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. So calm down. Okay. Job, guys. That's what you can do. So these are the first things we can do 
to calm down so we'll be able to think about what to do next. Sometimes you may want to talk to a grown-up about how you feel once you have calmed down. You can always do that. But sometimes there's not a grow up, grown-up to talk to, and you might talk to a friend, even if that friend is imaginary or stuffed animal or a doll. You can always do that, too. Now, in our classroom, we have this. These are the calm down steps to remind you guys when you're in school, when we ever come back to school, take three deep breaths, count slowly to five, and say calm down to yourself. So that's what you can always do. Now, we've also got a song called Calm Down. And we'll learn that. Let's see, that is number seven on our disc. So I'm going to play it and we'll learn it together. This one is called Calm Down. Take three deep breaths. guys that is our song calm down i'm sure we'll get to use that some more when we do another alice pals lesson <clears throat> so if you need to play it back and you can learn to memorize the songs so i hope that helped now remember we've got the poster in the classroom we have al's place it's a comfy carpet and a nice squishy pillow right near our two desks that you can go to if you feel too excited about something. See if you're just angry and you need a place to calm down, go to Al's place. If you're really, really super excited about somebody, something and you're just afraid you're gonna hurt somebody jumping around, go to Al's place. And we have it all ready for you, okay? So 
I will be back next time for another Al's Pals lesson. I hope you enjoyed this and you'll remember to use your calm down steps next time you have big feelings. Bye guys. I'll see you next time.